Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I am trying to stay positive despite a very difficult circumstance. I don't always do a good job by that. I often end up being bitter. That being bitter is really a waste of time. You're going to end up not really enjoying your life the more you're bitter. But honestly, I, I have been struggling with being bitter. I was in the hospital last week. And it, it's funny, I used to be a little jealous of young, younger people. It's, it's a common feeling when you reach my age. You start to look at younger people and you feel a little jealous. But now it's different. I'm jealous of, of old people. I'm like, wow, 70 years old? That's quite a long life you live. I wish I could live 70 years. But I've been doing better since I've been back at home. When you think about it, that's all you can really control is your attitude. I mean, ALS is taking away my hands. It's taking away my ability to speak very clearly. It's taking away my upper body strength. Should I let it take away my happiness as well? Doesn't really make any sense, right? I think a lot of the times we allow little things to ruin our day. So, for example, you have very rude customer service at the store and you can't stop thinking about it the rest of the day. Maybe you're hanging out with your friends, but you won't let it go. Your mind is still there. Or just the other day we had food delivery and they forgot our egg rolls. Now for me, egg rolls are like the best part of Chinese food. And they forgot them. But you know what? There's still a lot of good food on the table. So I decided to just not even think about it. Enjoy the food that was there. And we had a really good time. And I think that's um, really, the, in my opinion, that's really the, the secret to a happy life. It's simply making the best of whatever you have at the moment. And try not to be bitter. Try not to hold grudges. I couldn't think of anything that's a worse use of your time than holding a grudge against someone. Choosing not to forgive. You're only making yourself miserable. The other person probably doesn't care. Another thing most of us do throughout our lives is we compare. How much do I have compared to how much my friends have or other people like me have? We compare all kinds of things like that. It's really a great way to make yourself miserable. I mean, I'm 34, I probably don't have long to live. Is that unlucky? I mean, pretty much anyone would say so. But is it really? I mean, think about it. A lot of people die in childbirth. They die before they go to first grade. I got to live pretty much a full life. I, I did what I wanted to do career-wise. I married, I have my children. Of course, it's sad to end it right here, but I really lived a lot fuller life than a lot of people get to do. And when you think about it, like 200 years ago, the average man lived to age 39, I think. 2,000 years ago, the average man didn't even make it to 35. So, to be born at such a time where my life was not characterized by hard labor, I mean, I've sat around in very comfortable chairs my whole life, and I've had a pretty good lifespan. I mean, compared to all men in history, I'm very lucky. So, I try to think about these things. I encourage you to do so as well. Enjoy every moment of your life. 
You only live once. This moment will never come again. Are you spending it wisely? One thing I like to do before I got sick, I would always imagine myself as an old man on my deathbed. And I would say, what would he say about what I'm doing right now? Would he recommend that I do that? Or might he regret it? I found that a simple exercise to be very helpful in making my life decisions. Anyhow guys, I hope you got something out of the video. I know that it's kind of a rambling video. I'm going to be making a lot of these. I want to have them left over after I pass away from my children. And so, if it seems like I'm lecturing, you know, just imagine I'm talking to my kids. I'm not trying to talk down to you. Thanks for watching.